Isn't it funny how we can go with these beliefs that our biggest haters are people outside of us? People who we may have grown up with. People who may leave negative comments on what you post. Or maybe the biggest hater is someone out there based upon the color of your skin, your religious beliefs, your beliefs in general. And with that, there's an abundance of reasons to validate that, to see that. And obviously when you're doing that, you're stuck in that loop of proving why all these haters outside of you is the reason why you're not experiencing the life that you want. That's one level of truth. Because you can keep validating that. You can keep seeing that. And you can give your power away to those things for a reason why you don't have the life that you want to create. You want to hear another perception about that? A perception that I have used for myself and have been integrating it. And also it has helped me to not be stuck in that loop that I just mentioned of the loop of giving the energy away and believing that people outside of us and situations outside of us is stopping us from creating the life that we want to create. The eye-opening thing for me, and this will be eye-opening for you as well, if you are willing to take a look at this from a open perspective. The biggest hater that you can have in your life that can stop you from creating the life that you want to create is you. You are potentially the biggest hater that can stop you from living the life that you want to live. Now, where, where am I getting this from? Where, where is this true? How is this true? I'm sure that people are thinking this. Think about it we can potentially self-sabotage ourselves so much for the fear of what happens when we actually go for what we want. Where does the fear come from? Infinite, infinite reasons. Maybe we got taught that we had to be a certain way, live things a certain way, do things a certain way to achieve things. Or maybe we've been told by people who don't even have those experiences that we're looking for that it's not possible. Or maybe that fear of expanding to a new level, expanding for potentially getting rejected for going for what you want stops us from doing it. Those thoughts in our mind that we hear and then we believe it and then we act upon the beliefs of those thoughts. What are some self-limiting thoughts that you have within you 
that actually stop you from going for what you want. We all have them. And even take a look at the most successful people and all the different things out there. They all say the same thing. They had those fearful thoughts. They had those limiting beliefs. But then they decided to do something different. They decided to go for it. Even with those thoughts. Even with those naysayers out there. And they took their power back. The power of knowing that this is my life. And I can choose how I want to live my life. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one who's going to have to live with my decisions for my life. Not the people out there who are telling me, oh, no, don't do that. Oh, no, that's impossible. They're, they're right. They're seeing it from their own lens. But don't allow other people's lens to be your lens. Because your lens is unique. Only you can see things in this world the way that you see things in this world. Only you can create the things within you that you want to create in this world uniquely like that. And if we allow those self-hating limitations, our inner hater, to be the control of our life, we're not going to live the life that we really want to live. We're going to live a limited life that we're going to continue to blame others for why we're st stuck in the life that we are stuck in as opposed for addressing the real, real deep inner hater that we have in our life. What are you going to do now? Are you going to continue that loop of addressing all those external haters? Or start to take a look at that inner, inner hater. Those self-sabotaging habits. Those limited beliefs. And start to shift it. It all starts with getting curious with that inner hater that we may have. And not judge it. Not shame it. We get a lot of that already, <laughs> potentially from the outside world. Why give it to ourselves as well? Why not shift this hater to our biggest inner supporter? And then the hate comes, the hate comes outside, like, but inside you're good. Stay connected.